I am Brianna Lentz, and today we are going to be making a Dollar Tree Halloween wreath. You will need mesh from Dollar Tree or wherever you choose. I had five colors, 10 total, two sets of five colors, and one pack of 45 chenille stems, picks of your choice. I chose two packs of these pumpkins, and then you need a 14 inch wreath, wire wreath. I love these colors. What you will do next is with your first set of five, which again, I had five colors, is I cut eight inch pieces. Originally, I started with 70. I needed about 130 to 150. I went through and cut in total all of the first set of rolls, and then I just went in when I needed to my second set. They look really pretty like this. I really enjoyed this. It, it doesn't take nearly as long as you might think to cut the eight inch strips. Now that all of your strips are cut, you get to now make them into the pieces that you will then bend around your 14 inch wire wreath. You take three rolls of your choice or more, that's up to you, I did three each, and one of your Chanel sticks, and you're going to roll it up, not too tight, not too loose. Again, this is all preference on how dense or loose you want your wreath. And at the beginning, you kind of figure it out. And as you go on, you kind of get your system. I like texture in my wreaths, so I do it at different widths and different lengths. And again, the more that you do this, the more that you'll get used to how you want to roll it. There's no pressure. You really can't mess this up as long as you have everything secure. So I have my three colors, purple, orange, and black. And you want to vary how you have your colors. You want to stagger them because again, you want different colors to show and you want different textures for your wreath. I think that really makes this your own. You're not buying it. This is handmade and you get to make it yours. So I have my three, I have them pinched together and then I securely wrap my chenille stem around tightly and I do it about two different ways. I, I turn it two different ways around so that way it's tight but there isn't too much bulk when I go to tie this on my wreath. I already have two here as you can see and I have a purple and then I've got orange and you want to play with the different colors because that's going to make your wreath more interesting. So I take those chenille stems and I wrap them around the two inner prongs of the wire wreath and then again I take those stems and I twist them once, twice, three to four times and now it is securely locked in there. I put about 10 to 15 of these bunches on each section of my wreath. This is up to you how many you want to put in there. I liked putting quite a few because I really liked this. it all squished together. I liked the different textures as I've said. Now the fun part is that you get to repeat this process quite a few times. <laughs> um, and it gets monotonous, sure, but it's pretty fun because you pick up different colors each time you make a bundle. And your fingertips might get tired from the mesh. You can put ribbon in this wreath as well, and that might be suitable to your taste. I didn't choose to pick up any ribbon, I just wanted the mesh, and I knew that I wanted the picks, and I'm really happy with my color choices. But again, this is, this is up to you to make how you want. So it was, again, it was very, very enjoyable. And the more that you do it, the faster you'll get at it. In total, this project took me about two and a half hours, I would say. And here again, I'm just showing you in slower motion how to put the bunch on your wreath. You wrap it around those inner two prongs and then you just twist it and that's it. It's really easy. This is such a simple and fun project for you to make.
Once you have secured all of your mesh bundles to your wreath, you get to do the finishing touches. And by finishing touches, I mean adding your picks if you choose to add picks. Again, I chose two of the same packages of pumpkins from Dollar Tree, and I absolutely love them. They're so vintage looking, they're sparkly, but they're prim. They're kind of everything vintage Halloween screams. It gets folk, but it's glittery, and I'm not normally a glitter kind of gal, but I am digging this wreath with its mesh and its vibrant colors and the glitter prim pumpkins. My kids absolutely love this. And it was such a joy to make because I usually work in dim muted colors and to work on something like this was a really great change of pace. And I just stick these picks around the wreath and I try to keep it somewhat equal but again I'm not super fussy about it because there's so much to look at when you look at this wreath no one's really going to care if they're all symmetrically even apart from each other give yourself a break it's just a wreath and it's your handmade wreath the pixel will be perfect wherever you place them Once your last pick is placed, your last step is to hang it. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. Dollar Tree Halloween wreath. Simple, budget friendly, and a lot of fun to make, honestly. So thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you've made your own wreath. And if you like Halloween DIYs, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next project.